iPhone 6 code leaks and iOS 9 reveal major front-facing camera stuff, Google search extends to answer contextual questions, and the recent HTC One M9 update proves to be a must-have. I'm Jaime Rivera, preparing in the tropics for a major tropical storm. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today has to do with HTC as the company has just pushed the software update in Europe, Asia, and other countries that are not the United States with a major camera improvements in addition to battery improvements and heat management, which is something that some users complain, not everybody, but the camera is a complaint from everybody else, and you can watch our review for that. But uh, yeah, keep on the lookout and hopefully it reaches the United States soon. Other news have the Moto X 2015. Yesterday we talked about a back with a fingerprint scanner slot, and uh, now we get some other backs that don't show the fingerprint slot. It could be that these don't belong to the Moto X, it could be a new revamped Moto G, or it could be that the fingerprint scanner is at the front and this is just a prototype. There's a lot to expect here, but we do know that Google wanted to build this into the Moto X 2014, so stay tuned. Other news that are rather concerning is that apparently Apple will stream Apple Music at 256 kilobits per second when compared to Spotify that does it at 320. And for those of you music buffs out there, that could be a problem, but uh, just a word of disclaimer, it seems that Apple will be streaming at its AAC code compared to MP3. So apparently uh, the quality is going to be good enough. This is what we currently get in iTunes anyway, so audio files will probably not be disappointed. We can't wait to test that out later this month and tell you about it. Now, since making your search term smarter is a thing that everybody is doing after Cortana brought it to the table, it seems that Google has just updated its Google search to bring location awareness, meaning you can ask it where you are and it'll tell you where you are. And if you're in a mall, for example, you could ask it at what time does this place close, it'll know what place you're in and give you information on that place in particular. Uh, and this most likely will extend to give you shopping information in the future. We don't know that just yet, but these are cool updates that just arrived to Google search and should be pushed to your devices very soon. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, it seems that Apple plans to bring some major front-facing camera updates to the iPhone success. There is code on iOS 9 that points to the possibility of a front-facing flash, for example, in addition to panorama, slow motion, and uh, other options that could be coming. Hopefully better megapixel count as well, and probably a wide uh, angle lens. We don't know those other two portions just yet, but it does seem that this is coming to the iPhone success, and it does lead me to the question of the day. How important are selfie photos for you? Do you take them often? Because in my case, I try not to, but I do. They're shameless. But leave us a comment down below. What is your case? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.